So, yes, hello all of my little baby bunnies and welcome. Uh, today we are playing Her Story, which is, uh, I mean, if you don't know, then I'm sorry. It's a cool little game where we have to solve a mystery. We're looking through some old tapes, old files, and we gotta figure out what the fuck's going on. Um, apologies for my face. <laughs> I pretty much just woke up and I don't want to like put on uh, any makeup until I have to get ready for my Halloween party tonight. Uh, so this is just what we're going to look like. We're going to look like I just woke up, which I essentially did. And then... <gasps> Tax Owlbear, welcome! Um, oh god, oh god, and I just spilled water fucking everywhere. God Christ. Hello Tax Owlbear. God damn it. Game. Ah. All right, all right, let's figure this out. Let's fucking clean, clean this shit up. I like just vaguely gestured in a direction and put water all over the Oh, there we go. Windows 95 height indeed. Okay, cool. Well, that's excellent. Did you finish it? Tax Owlbear? Mr. Owlbear? Mr. Uh, uh, Sir Tax? Ugh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so apparently I was in the middle of looking at Saturday. Chit chat. What's happening here? Buzz when you're ready. Yeah, I already saw that. Okay, um, I was looking at Saturday. Was I? I didn't write Saturday down. Oh, I searched for Saturday. You solved the main mystery, but didn't 100% the game. Okay. Which is understandable. This is a really, like, sprawling game with a lot of things. So I searched for Saturday, but didn't actually do anything with it. All right. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is the level I'm at, buddy. Okay, so... I have a notebook that I will be writing down in while we do this. This is page one. You ready? Page two. Wait for it. Page three. Page four. <laughs> Five. I don't know, did we get any more than five? Oh, yeah. Six. And we are about to start on page seven. <laughs> it's just hard to, um, it's mainly because it's hard to write on this side of the paper in this, in this book. Okay, so Saturday is what we, is what we searched for. And there are two videos that I didn't watch. So what I did is I have been taking note of yeah, for real, for strong privilege. Listen, man, I will recycle these after I'm done, okay? I'm not I'm not an earth-hating, uh, uh, selfish child. Okay, so I've been writing down the room they're interviewed in, so three, and then I write down the date and the time. Uh, and God, this is in European dates. It's so confusing. It's, uh, June, June 27th of 94 and 20, 48, 41. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is four seconds long? It was eight. eight. That is eight. Eight. Late slash early Saturday morning. Interesting. Okay, late slash early Saturday morning. What about this one? This is also in room three, but American dates are bogus. Fully ascending or fully descending, never anything in between. Listen, man, I don't necessarily disagree with you. Here's the thing. I'm married to a European, okay? So we have this, we tend to have discussions like this a lot. Um, he's been living in America for, uh, seven years, so he's gotten used to the way Americans do, uh, 
temperature and uh, and dates and and the imperial system. He's gotten familiar with it. He still complains and says it's ridiculous, which I don't again don't disagree with him on. It's simply that I I have spent the almost entire three decades of my life knowing how to do dates one way and knowing how to measure things one way uh, and knowing how to figure out temperature one way. So I understand that the metric system is super logical. I understand that Celsius is super logical. I understand that ascending or descending dates is super logical, but it's confusing because the automatic instinct in my brain is to go, okay, it's month, day, year. Like, it's, it's just the pattern and the understanding. Like, you could tell me that I'm X number of centimeters tall and I would just stare at you because that would mean nothing to me. Like, it, it <laughs> It's not that I love it, it's just that I literally struggle very hard to understand how to apply systems that I did not grow up using to my everyday life. Like, tell me how many kilometers it takes me to get to work, and I'm like, okay, but how many miles is that? I need to know miles. <laughs> like... Tell me how, how much it is in Celsius. And unless you're telling me it's zero degrees, which I know is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing temperature, or 100 degrees, which is the temperature at which water boils, I think. Um, like, I'm not gonna know what you're saying. Like, it just doesn't, because that's the other thing is Celsius and Fahrenheit don't meet correctly like they're not one-to-one -one ratios which makes it really confusing so fucking confusing <laughs> anyways i'm 18 celsius away from work thank you <laughs> all right so this was uh june 30th uh of 94 at 1543 also, other countries seem to really like using military time way more than we do. For me, it's twelve, it's it's a.m. or p.m. Military time confuses the shit out of me. Anyways, um, this was several days after that one, and this one is eleven seconds. A week or so ago, it would have been the Saturday before my birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends, have a lie in, then want to get up and blitz the house. Blitz the house? What the hell does that mean? Do I need... Most people you hang out with no metric units. Yeah, that's fair. Blitz? Blitz the house? What does that mean? Is that a British thing? Cleaning. American versus British. It means clear cleaning the house. Okay, okay. Yep. Okay. It just means cleaning their house. Got it. That was confusing. A week ago, Saturday before birthday, blitz the house slash cleaning. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes, I did know that. The term popular in the UK during World War II. I was aware of that. Okay, so why did I search for Saturday? Where was I in my notes? I've been going kind of like methodically down. I took the car, left Saturday. Simon, Simon not returning calls. Okay, let's search for calls. Ah, six entries and one that I haven't seen. Calls. This one looks like room three. Yep. 6.30, 94, 15.56. This is about 10, no, 13 minutes after that last one that we just watched. 
Okay. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. That's right, she had the miscarriage. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana. Or Ava. I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Of course she didn't, because she has one. Pointless information. Blitzen in German means running naked in public as a prank or form of po protest. You know what? I'm down with it. I like it. That would be interesting to look for Sarah or Ava. Okay. Good mother. Young. Baby girl. Sarah and Ava. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. <sighs> it suddenly got like really cold yesterday. And by really cold, I mean really cold for Texas. After we've had like nonstop summer and spring weather, or uh, yeah, nonstop summer weather, essentially. We had a properly cold day yesterday. Thank you. Um, because it finally, it like dropped 20 degrees in the night for the baseline temperature and finally got pretty close to freezing overnight. It's the first time this year that's happened. <laughs> On blue tissue paper. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Not returning calls. Um, which I just looked up. And then barf? How about barf? Huh? There's only one that's barf, because I probably tagged that one barf. Um, slept on the side of the road. Road? Ooh. No. So. Yeah, I think she vomited when she drove somewhere at some point. One minute, 26 seconds. Oh, this is gonna be a, a big one. All right, that's July, July? July 1st, 94, 14, 20, 55. Let really drink some water. I'm terrible at trying to stay hydrated when I stream. I always end up with a headache like here. It's cause I'm not very good at Doing the drinky drink. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. He wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. Is that enough? I feel like I watched this one already. Like, I swear I've watched that one already. I'm pretty sure I've searched for parents already, but let me, let me look. I'm, I'm going pretty methodically. I know I've searched for Eric, so that's not necessary anymore. Eve, diary, clothes, car, keys, miscarriage, Carl, Ouija, wig, cat, 
Guitar, palindrome, lie detector test, Florence, attic, beach, police, rules, throat, baby. Cellar watch, argument, house, north, Glasgow, sleep, Saturday calls. I have not searched for parents yet, but it is on my list. Um, okay, so that one was kind of weird. Shower, keys, locked, uh, uh, asleep. Parents, as you say. Simon, I've already searched for. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me go back to where I am. From here, so road, slept on the side of the road, exhausted. Don't know if anything's gonna show up other than the one that I, oh wow, I'm surprised. Okay, but there's nothing that I haven't already watched. Okay, keys, which I've already searched for. Did I search for clothes? Yes, I did. Doug and Eleanor, miscarriage. I did search for miscarriage. Doug? Hmm. Let's see what we should know about Doug. Seven minutes, uh, seven minutes, Jesus. Seven seconds long. Six, 25, 94. I said 13, 35, 40. Yeah. I've been mad to Doug and Eleanor's and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Okay. Six, five, ninety-four. 42, so this is less than 10 minutes after that first one. Which means... Oh, excuse me for some reason I came back to it. This one's 28 seconds long. I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. Is that Hannah or Eve? I haven't. That one's hard to figure out just from that clip alone. Okay, so job. <sighs> Dinner lady. Don't poison the kids, primary school. I don't know, let's put poison in there just for fun. Ah, poison. Some people are poison. Running through their skin like opium. Staring their eyes to annoy them. Yeah, the poison. 30. This is several days later. 94. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Poison's so good to have in your life. Uh, 15. 43. 10. Um, I hoover my dust every week. Maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks is okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day. You know, ran an audit house. You know how that generation is, putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, 
next to the Reader's Digest books. Cigarettes inside. And she still has them. I mean, last time I was there, I looked in a vase. There was a fresh pack. I mean, all those years of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. Well, if you don't work, then you would have time to do that every day. You'd basically just view that as your job. If you do work, then no, that's bullshit. That's why people have Roombas. Uber, dust, cigarettes. Um, if he does work, then she could probably do it pretty easily when he's not around. And just do it uh, outside. Maybe? I'd notice the smell. I'm really sensitive to cigarette smoke, so I would definitely notice the smell. <laughs> Excuse me! Ugh. So, that's all the search results for Doug. What about Eleanor? There's one I haven't seen. Okay. Eleanor Rigby. Picks up the rice in a church where a wedding has been. Lives in a dream, waits at the window. Wearing a face that she keeps in a jar by the door. Who is it for? All the lonely people. Where do they all come from? Yes. I speak with Eleanor at least once a day. Not that there's anything much to say. Whoa! <sighs> Spilt coffee. When did that happen? So that's seven one at fourteen twenty one. The fourteen twenty. A minute before is when she was talking about going to Simon's house and taking a shower, falling asleep, calling Simon's parents. I think that's Eve. That seems like a diversionary tactic. 1421, 14, doesn't. This is on July 1st. I'm really glad I wrote down all the dates and times. <laughs> Makes it easy to remember what's already happened. 1424, Carl was... 1424, it's 21, so... Something I don't... That felt uh, intentional. There's something about Eleanor that I don't think she wants to talk about. One of the first things she talks about on that day. Hmm. So it's already tagged with Eleanor, but I'll tag it again and then spilled coffee. Hmm. Six centuries found. Okay, what else we got? Uh, Doug and Eleanor. So we've searched for those. I already searched for miscarriage ill. I look for ill. Ill. There are two. I think I already figured out that the red jacket is Eve. Okay, 
that's July 27th or 21.01.41. So 24 is midnight, 23 is 11, so 22 is 10, 21 is 9, 9.01, okay. I was like, that feels like it would be very late. It's not that late. Okay. 44 seconds. Well, she has a knife. Uh, um, she's been cooking, I guess. She's been cooking him his favorite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. What was that? What was that sound? Did that mean I found something important? Oh, hey, Somni, how's it going? How are you doing on this fine Saturday? Knife, cooking, favorite, I'll do, I'll spell it the British way, favorite meal, wife, sleeping, ill, die. Oh, was it? Oh, maybe. It was the Streamlabs noise. Oh, are you hosting? Is somebody hosting? Why didn't it tell me that it was hosting? Ah, for fuck's sake. Do I even have that notification, like, visible? It should be visible. Yeah. I must just not have seen it because I was focused. All right. Well, yay. <laughs> Gosh, that confused the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, what happened? What, what important thing happened? Okay, uh, this one's 36 seconds long. Ooh, room B. Ooh, that's a different room than normal. It was on screen? Okay, I just didn't see it. I'm usually okay, I'm usually good at noticing it because it's motion out of the corner of my eye, but I totally didn't. <laughs> Thanks, Tax Albert. That was really helpful. <laughs> Is really what I needed right now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh gosh, okay, so uh, that's July 3rd, 94. So July 3rd, I think is when, when she says, arrest me. And I'm pretty sure that's Eve. So this is just before that happens. It's been a couple weeks since I've played this, so I'm trying to like remember where everything is. Yeah, room B is where all the bad shit went down. Let's do it. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. Okay. And for, and for you boys that don't know, that can totally happen if you spend a lot of time with other women. Your cycles sync up. <laughs> Which, um... I think can be unfortunate for people in the house uh, because then you have uh, several women all going through the same extreme hormonal change at once, which means you have a lot of women that are like, I need to eat everything, I feel terrible, and, I, and I'm gonna cry no matter what. <laughs> I'm not really an irritable person when, when it comes to PMS, I'm just a person that cries for no reason. Pregnant boys, man, body refuse, period. Ah. 
See, you're a learned man. Somni, you didn't know that? Yeah, yeah, uh, it to yes, they absolutely do. Okay, so I'm the youngest of four children, uh, three of which were girls, okay? So both of my sisters had already hit puberty and were having their periods. When I hit puberty and started having my period, it completely threw theirs off because I suddenly was starting to have hormonal changes in the same living space as them. And, uh, and I, I remember I didn't tell them that I'd had my first period until a couple of weeks later. And I, and I mentioned it to my oldest sister and I was like, yeah, I had my first period. And, and she was like, that's why mine was totally off. Like she, yeah, she was like two weeks later, two weeks early or something weird like that. Yes, they completely sync up. That's 100% true. I'm not really sure why. There's just something about women being in the same space regularly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't live with any women now, thankfully. Also, it sort of doesn't matter. I take birth control, so it's pretty con like, that controls my period, which is really nice, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's everything for ill. So what do we need to do next? Well, now you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Okay, so I already searched for miscarriage. I've searched for ill. Uh, dead. Have I searched for dead? Dead. I'm gonna search for dead or death if I haven't already. I have not, okay. Dead? Yes, that's very common. I actually, I get really horrific uh, cramps, um, like really bad cramps. And so, um, basically having to having to be completely out of it for like two to three days a month is not an option. Um, I have to work. When I go to school, I have to both work and go to school. And I can't be laying around in bed crying in pain <laughs> for two to three days every month. It's, it's not feasible for real human life. Um, so... I first started taking the pill just to see if it would reduce the pain. And it did a little bit, but it was still pretty regular, um, like pretty intense and unpleasant. So my doctor was just like, uh, take it continuously. And then when your body decides it wants to have a period, it's just gonna happen. And then don't take the pill for five days and then start taking it again, which is super nice. It is so cool to not have it is so cool to not have a period every month. It feels great to not be horribly in pain and ache and just hate life <laughs> every single month. It's great. Anyway, <laughs> let's search for dead. <laughs> Woo, 11 entries found for dead. Okay, room three. Uh, 6, 30, 94. Also, you know I don't want children. So <laughs> that's another great, it's another great side effect. <laughs> At the very least, I don't want children right now or anytime soon. 6, 39. 13 seconds. That's all that matters, really. The baby. Simon's dead, but the baby... That's how he will live on. Wait, so... Our baby. Okay, so she didn't have a miscarriage? Oh, she had a miscarriage, but then she got pregnant again. Oh. Oh. That's a piece I did not know. Hot shit, dude. I did not realize that. Okay. 
So... So that would have been Hannah. I think... It's the same day. As... Old Coffee. I think this one's Eve. Hannah tends to look a little bit dumpier, and Eve looks a little bit more put together. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so that's room three, seven, one, 94, uh, 1427, 40, boop, boop. Beep, beep, motherfucker, we done. Oh, oh reaching here. Tattoo. Oh, I don't know why. No. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? Wait, okay, now I'm confused. I can't tell if that's Hannah or Eve. And yeah, that did get dark. Mr. Tax, Mr. Owl, Mr. Bear. So, okay. Is this the first time I've seen her with the tattoo? No, it's not. Uh, we don't. I, I always sort of figured that there's more than one interrogator because there was at least one clip where she looked to one side while talking and then looked to the other side as though she was talking to two different people. So I think there may be more than one. Because that feels like something that Eve would say. But who knows, maybe Hannah would have said that too. So who has the tattoo? That's the question. We need to figure out who actually has the tattoo. This is five minutes later, approximately. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead, it doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. So that's definitely Hannah. Okay. Hannah has the tattoo, or at least she's posing as Hannah. That's an option we have to consider as well, that she may be saying she's Hannah and she's not. Okay. Um, let, me, let me watch that again and get to, to the- to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Romantic weekend in Oxford. I feel like I've searched for Oxford before. No, I searched for Glasgow. Yeah. Murdered husband. Okay, let's see. So, 
secret, which I don't know if I've searched for yet, which would be kind of an interesting one. Simon is dead. <laughs> it's very straightforward. Uh, cheated expenses. Rom ah, romantic weekend. Oxford. And murdered husband. Interesting. So... I searched for dead. And then... Parents. That's one you mentioned to me, Tax Owlbear. Let's search for parents. We got one. June 25th, 94, at 1339, 28, 11 seconds. I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room and they decided we should get married. She doesn't have a tattoo. She, she doesn't have a tattoo. Hang on. Where? In a video five days later, someone who says she's Hannah has a tattoo on her right arm. Left arm. Left arm. And here she says, I got pregnant. I need to search for tattoo. That's really important. Uh, pregnant, parents, married. Ha! If someone's pregnant, they can't. I, they shouldn't be able to get a tattoo. I don't think. Um, I don't know if that's a health hazard or not, but it is very like unnerving music. I totally agree with you. That's room three, six, eighteen. 94, 19, 1909. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before, a long time ago. He looks just like the photo. He's not got his glasses on here though. He takes them off for the camera. But he needs them to see properly, you know, when he has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not book so much, or watching TV. He likes TV. Okay, that one was kind of all over the place. Um, no tattoos. I'm guessing she's talking about Simon. Scar on stomach. Cut with glass. He has glasses. Books, reading. Newspaper. <clears throat> TV, excuse me. This one, also in room 371, 94, 14. 14 seconds. Oh, my tattoo. 
I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. Okay. But when did she get it? And why would she get an why would she get an apple and a snake if it were Hannah? Why would she want to be reminded of Eve? She doesn't seem to like Eve very much at the moment. Also, is it a real tattoo? It could just be a press on tattoo. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. My tattoo. No, um, that was an accident. Could she be lying about the tattoo and she has one but doesn't show you? But I, there's another... Uh, I'm trying to figure out who has the tattoo is kind of where I'm at right now because there are videos of her wearing short sleeve shirts where she doesn't have a tattoo and where she does. But... I'm getting the feeling that somebody may be saying they're someone they're not. So I'm trying to figure out who is Hannah and who is Eve. Or did one of them just get the tattoo in those five days between the interviews where they had the short sleeve shirts? Um, okay. The snake and the apple represent Adam and Eve's downfall. Yep. You would have to be vindictive for that. You are correct. Okay, so, tattoo, express individuality, itty, itty, Jesus typing, it's hard to type over a book, uh, apple and snake, all right, what about this, it's room B, I'm almost certain that that's Eve. But of course, I don't have a tattoo to look at. That's several days later. <laughs> 16. Ah, excuse me. Okay. So I moved out. Got a small bed set. Got my tattoo to mark the occasion. Okay. I was singing in the bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. And I've been doing something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. Eve. Eve has the tattoo. So who's actually pregnant? Okay, so my big questions now are Eve has the tattoo. That's something that we can pretty solidly confirm. Yes, I know it's you. I, you've been acting very uh, hormonal lately. Um, <laughs> Uh, so Eve has the tattoo. So the question is, is it Eve or Hannah that is now pregnant? And is someone lying about... Who they are? Question mark between Hannah and Eve. Okay. So, um, no roots. 
how to let's see let me watch this again let me make sure so i moved out got a small bed set got my tattoo to mark the occasion i was singing in a bar in the evenings so i had some money enough money to cover my rent and i've been doing something similar ever since I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. I don't exist. That's an interesting phrasing. We got them stylish baby scans. Hey, man, maybe. Maybe they could do that. Um, haven't put down roots. Let's see. Tattoo. She moved out. Singing at bar. Don't exist. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, okay, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We searched for parents, definitely. Yeah? Yes, we did. I searched for miscarriage. Did I search for infertile? I don't think I did. Let's try that. Never put a pregnant woman on a, under a scanner. It's not safe. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of grossing me out at this point. Um, let's search for infertile. Ah, we do have one. Okay. This will be the last part of page eight or page seven. kind of sick films do you watch? <laughs> you guys, I watched a terrible 90s movie the other day. If you like terrible 90s movies, oh, are you in for a treat? The Viking and I were sitting down and trying to figure out what to watch, and he'd added this movie Mimic to our watch list for HBO. And, uh, <laughs> it's a really... It's a really shitty old Guillermo del Toro movie where, uh, like, there's this virus that um, gets spread by, uh, like, your common cockroach. So they engineer, they genetically engineer a new kind of cockroach that will, uh, like, it's supposed to basically create this goop that the other cockroaches eat and die from and then uh it's designed to die after six months or something um but of course it doesn't die and they just uh keep growing and growing and growing and three years later you've got these gigantic cockroach monsters it's got like really terrible cgi and it's really campy in the way that only 90s films are ugh what a, what a fucking delight, man. Um, okay, I'm gonna watch this. I just realized I have to pee because I've been drinking a bunch of water. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> and I'm going to, uh, cause I, I just really have to pee. It's quite uncomfortable. So I'll, give me a fucking, give me a fucking hot second, okay? Cool.
All right, I have expelled waste <laughs> from my body, and I am now, I am now fresh and ready. Yes, it does have Norman Reedus in it for like two seconds. It doesn't, it doesn't even look like Norman Reedus. It's one of the weirdest things. When, when the Viking actually pointed it out to me, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Man, what a shitty ass movie. It has a very young Josh Brolin. Uh, did I already write all this down? Yes, I did. And this is for Infertile. I think it was that time, the first time at the house in his bed that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic spell. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three? I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. So they both got pregnant at the same time. We did. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and... I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. They both got pregnant at the same time. Hannah lost the baby. Eve didn't. Okay. I like how every time you find out something like really like, whoa, it plays the music. Um. I think he did. I think he did Dusk Till Dawn. From from Dusk Till Dawn? Isn't that it? <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> <sighs> no, that's a Tarantino movie. That's right. Yeah, Tarantino. Uh, oh, I should have known that. The Viking really likes that movie. Um, Del Toro is a very weird, like, uh, there are some things that he does that I really like, and some things that he does where I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mimic was one of the what the fuck ones. Um, am I the only person that hated Pacific Rim? Like, I know I'm not the only person. There are other people who hated Pacific Rim. But I really hated Pacific Rim. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. It wasn't the kind of campy that was fun. Like, that's the thing is campy, camp can be really fun if it's done the right way, but I don't think that Pacific Rim did it very well. Um, and I had a hard time having fun with giant robots fighting each other um, when everything that was happening was so illogical. <laughs> it was just really, really hard for me to Yes, thank you. It, it was it was hard for me to do any kind of suspension of disbelief in such a way that I could have fun watching it. Um, okay, cool. I'm I'm glad that somebody understands. <laughs> Cause I'm usually I'm usually not that picky. Honestly, I'm an easy to please gal. You gotta you gotta really fuck something up bad for me to hate it. <laughs> I fucking hated Pacific Rim. I didn't have fun watching it. 
Ah, uh, okay. Which is why it's so weird to me that so many people liked it so much. Um, okay, so she got pregnant first time. But, 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 first time. Uh, sperm. She mentioned that. His magic sperm. Uh, lightning. Doesn't strike twice. Um, what else did she say? She said... She thought... That's kind of like nice music. The Russian and Chinese mechs show up once and get destroyed immediately. Yeah, they do. I don't know, there's just so little about it that was fun. Fertile. I've already searched for Eve. Carl, we searched for Eve. Okay, yeah, we searched for Carl. We already searched for Eve. We searched for Hannah. Um, boys? Did I search for virginity? I know I learned the story of how she lost her virginity, but I don't know if I searched for any other videos where they talk about it. I don't think I did. So I could search for boys or virginity, and honestly, virginity sounds like more fun. Nope. Okay. Boys. Okay, cool. meant as a search as a search engine result <laughs> I don't necessarily have any real indication that I'm going to find like fun sex stories if I search for boys but maybe I will if I search for virginity <laughs> man almost anything I say in this game could be taken out of context First apply. At 14, 25, 44. Man, why is it always gotta take me like fucking two hours to wake up in the morning? I'm so tired still. Yeah, I think you're right. And the glaziers. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. It wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. Yeah. Plus, he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. It's gotta be Eve. Anna doesn't have the tattoo. This is so confusing. Ugh. Let me watch that again. And the glaziers. I worked there some weekend job there too. That was Eric's generosity. With his children. Simon was quiet more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. It wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most 
Okay. It's so confusing. Quiet, thoughtful. You're right, Somni. Anticipation is half the fun. Never skip the foreplay. <laughs> Seriously, my doctor told me that. <laughs> never, never skip foreplay. <laughs> They're like, it doesn't work the way it works in movies. Don't skip foreplay. <laughs> This one is the same day, shortly after. Seven, one, nine. Yes, she did. <laughs> she was very clear on it. <laughs> this would have happened, yeah, just if minute I after. Say that. He could be passionate. It's just, he was more than that. He wasn't just sex like I had been with the other boys. Okay, so she had passionate sex. Whoops. Passionate. Just sex. So boys. Other boys. She says other boys a lot. <sighs> if it doesn't work the way it does in movies, no awkward sex half covered under a blanket while a condom automatic automatically manifests out of nowhere. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. I don't think I've, I think I've had sex under a blanket like a couple of times during the winter. I've never, <laughs> other than that, it is always covers off. Do you know how sweaty that shit gets? Don't, you don't, you don't need extra covers when you're banging. It just, it, the blankets get in the way. Nobody wants that. Ugh. Yeah, that's okay. I was about to tell you what show I was watching last night, and then I realized it's too new of a show to talk about. <laughs> Manifest condom. <laughs> oh, Somni, that is fucking gold. Oh my Christ. Oh my fucking Christ. Manifest condom. <laughs> I don't know if manifest destiny is particularly glorious either. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh Lord. Okay, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, I was watching a show last night. I won't say what show it is where that totally happens. Like people have unexpected sex and I'm like, as they're like kissing and going into a room, I like turn to the Viking and I was like, I mean, I hope they have a condom on them because that's kind of a little bit out of nowhere. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Fucking manifest condom. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Driver's test. How about that? How exciting is that? Driver's test? How about that one? Nope. Uh, shy. Have I searched for shy? I have not. There is one shy. Uh, it is an American show, yes. Boop. 
Boy, she looks really upset in this one. Uh, offend certain people. I don't know, man. It didn't seem... I don't think it's a show that's targeted to... I don't think it's a show that's targeted towards people who are upset by the idea of contraceptives. You know, some of the most realistic sex I ever watched was in the first couple of seasons that I actually watched of House of Cards. I remember watching this one uh, scene where, like, these people were just fucking. They were straight fucking. Like, and and I and and the Viking and I were just like, dude, that's like real life sex. That's awesome. It's not all like oh magical and music playing in the background. They're just straight fucking. <laughs> uh, it was pretty cool to watch. So this one's twenty nine seconds long. Yeah. When I was at school, I worked part-time in the front shop. It was sort of an extended family thing. My dad used to work there, my mom worked there before I was born. I took care of paperwork, filing, typing out invoices, that kind of thing. It was a good job for a girl back then. I didn't work a till or anything, though. I was quite shy, so I wouldn't have liked to have worked a till. I want to know what kind of importance that had. She worked at a shop, she was shy, did filing. How important is that? Job. Filing. Also work at Till. What an adorably British thing to say. Um, I mean, that just means being a cashier, right? Because I've been a cashier and I was, I was pretty shy. It means, right? Being a cashier? Here, let me, let me look up what that means in American. Working a till? In American. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool, yeah. We would just say uh, that we're a cashier. Okay, yeah. Work at a cash register. We don't call it a till. Oh man, I loved how, like, bothered uh, my my British friend um, vaguely someone who I call potato uh, got when I told him that we say um, controversy instead of controversy and how I didn't realize that people said it differently until Trevor Noah became the uh <laughs> the host of The Daily Show, and he's from South Africa, so he has a slightly more, it's, it's a South African accent, but it's a little more geared towards like the, the British way of speaking than the American way of speaking. So he says, controversy. And I was like, is that, I was asking him, I was like, is that what, is that how uh, people in the UK say it? And he was like, how do you say it? And I was like, controversy. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was so... He was so upset. 
Oh, it was wonderful. Okay. Okay. Ouija board. I've looked that up before. Princess Grace. Okay, she only says that the one time and I tagged it that way. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Princess, not Prices. Ah, okay, that's helpful. Do that. Princess. Yeah. <sighs> that's fair. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I was freezing when I woke up this morning, so I put on like really fluffy pants, but now it's not as cold and my butt's kind of sweaty. <laughs> I sort of want to change my pants, but I'm like already sitting down. I sort of want to, I don't want to get up. Five. All right, what's all this about? Hello. Yes, I drove in here because I remember well, I went over the river and then there was a church there. Yeah, and I probably part. Well, I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. Hmm. The only thing I got out of that was church. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> okay. Four. This is this and like one other interview are the only places where you can see the tattoo. I'm I'm very curious. Yeah. We were seventeen. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the training wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. <laughs> Okay, 17. Goodness, that's young. So, how can that be Hannah? I'm so... It was Eve who said she got a tattoo. That is such a... Can I just tell you that that is such a British thing, by the way? I can't remember... I can't remember the last time somebody actually talked about Princess Diana here. <laughs> Only child. It was a shotgun wedding. Yeah, it was a shotgun wedding, wasn't it? And a dress. Um, and this last one. The. Seven forty-two oh two. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I might have seen her face on a magazine in the last two years, <laughs> maybe. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum's bought from a library sale. 
the illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Hmm. Uh, whole affair gets exploded pretty heavily, considering how long ago it happened. Yes, I agree. It's... It's pretty, uh... Yeah. It's pretty intense. <laughs> I somehow got tape stuck to my pants. That's cool. There we go. So, whoops, fairy tales. I really like that not only am I typing this on a mechanical keyboard, but they gave the typing sounds mechanical keyboard typings. Like, those like, whatever you guys are hearing are probably <laughs> a double up of mechanical Keyboard types. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. Okay. That was when I searched for princess. Oh man. When am I ever gonna find out the real mystery here? I'm s like, I'm still confused. Grace Kelly. Let's see if we can find anything about that. Or if that was only mentioned once. Oh, just the... Uh, excuse me, just the once. Okay, that's just the once. What about dreams? Yep, okay. Mother Gothel. Rapunzel. Did I search for Rapunzel? Rapunzel, let down your hair. Nope. Make sure I spell that right. Rapunzel. Whoops, with a P. Rapunzel. I spelled it wrong. Rap uh, Rapunzel? Rapunzel. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she talks about it a lot. Okay. Room three. Oh gosh. 62794. 55. Sorry. Sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in colour? Achievement unlocked Detective Sergeant? What does that mean? What did I find out? Sorry, sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favorite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in color? Thank you, Somni. I always wanted to be a detective sergeant. Um, okay. Picture, fairy tale, and color. I wonder if color is an important thing to look for. Or what time? 21.03, so a couple minutes later, 21. She still has pictures in front of her. Okay, let's see. Did it pass? 
sorry I messed it up with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? Card? Did I pass? What are they showing her? It's not... They're not actually showing her images of Rapunzel, are they? What are they doing? Did I pass? Sorry, I messed it up with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? Sorry, sorry. Yes, the they are the from police wand. interviews. Reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over reminded and Reminded me. They were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favorite. The way it's drawn. It's a card that's drawn. Card. I'm gonna search for card next. That seems important. No? need me to do that card again. Yeah, these are all from the police interviews for the murder of Simon. That was, uh, I think I'm a, um, a reporter. Search for Rapunzel. What about Mother Gothel? The one? Mother. Ooh, there's quite a few to that. Of course, I've ended up with a ton of overlap. So this, this is shortly before those two that we just watched. Yeah, I know. Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. So they're, they're showing her drawings and telling her what she sees in them and asking her to tell them what she sees in them. What's the point? What's the point of that in this context? At this point, this is several days after he died. That's Eve, because her mother would never let her out. Staring out the window. Okay. Oh! Is this how they tried to tell them apart? Oh, that's very clever. Hmm, okay. Um. My pen went everywhere. Room B. Seven, three, ninety four. At eleven twenty eight. Five. 
Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? Mm. It's a real life fairy tale. Okay, so that's before she explains what everything, all the stuff that happened with her mother. Okay. It was a fairy tale. Talks about fairy tales a lot. Eve specifically talks about fairy tales a lot. Which is interesting at the very least. Okay, did I, I searched for wig, wedding, did I search for wedding? I have yet to search for wedding. Let's see what we find. Okay. Stuff I've already seen. I'm pretty sure I searched for... So I searched for miscarriage. I don't know if I searched for pregnant. Did I do that already in this stream? Am I that forgetful? I searched for infertile. That's right. I don't think I searched for pregnant. That. How girl get pregnant? How is Babby formed? <laughs> Okay, 627, 20.50, or dot, Jesus, 20.57. Yeah, I know, it's some, that is some real old memeing. What about the llama song? Do you guys remember the llama song? Llama, llama, here's a llama, 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 duck. <laughs> oh, that song killed me. Yes, I'm fine. Oh, I'm sick again. This happened some days. Eve. I'm pregnant. Pregnant. It's morning sickness. Okay. That's Eve. like one minute later. Magical Trevor. I don't remember Magical Trevor. Oh. Uh. Badger? Everybody remembers the Badger song. I was in Color Guard. I was in Color Guard and I was on the rifle line. So you know how um, like military, they they do a bunch of spinny shit with rifles sometimes, only they're not real rifles because that's really dangerous. Uh, I still have my rifle in my closet, um, but I was on the rifle line and I remember we had to make up routines for certain um, grades and <laughs> I made up a routine to go along with the Badger song. <laughs> Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. It's a badger, 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 badger. Ooh, snake. Ooh, 
it's a snake. It's a badger, badger, badger. Me and my friend Scott, I called him Scotty. Uh, we worked on that one together. <laughs> we were both on the rifle line. Uh, he was a good boy. I miss him. Okay, 28. So yeah, this was just like a minute later. Well, yes. You found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Found out pregnant. Oops. Fucking pregnant on birthday. I am a robot. Eep boop. Ooh, snake. Ooh, it's a snake. It's a betcha, 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 betcha. Betcha, betcha. Mushroom, mushroom. Man, no wonder we have like really. <laughs> no wonder my generation has some really like weird, fucked up humor. <laughs> That's the kind of shit we grew up on. <laughs> okay, Let's search for strangers. Whoops, if I could spell angry. Gosh, I'm too tired to type. Nope. Argued? Or argument? Ten entries, but all the first five I've already seen. Ruse? Ooh, that's a couple. I threw my pen on the floor. I packed my bags, I'm good to go. You met me at the terminal. Just one more plane ride and it's done. We stood like statues at the gate Vacations come and gone too late There's so much sun where I'm from Had to give it away Had to give you away Bruce Oh yeah, no, it's nothing I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen And the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face we had like hell. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to call that face bruise. And uh, hit my face on a door. That sounds, because that sounds a hell of a lot like I got punched by somebody and I made up a story. I have at least two stories of literally running my face into a door. And one of them gave me a bruise, the other one did not. But <laughs> it was kind of annoying to be like, God damn it, this is what like every abused wife <laughs> That's the excuse that every abused anybody uses for when they get punched across the face. <laughs> so one of them, it was just like in the middle of the night and I was going to the bathroom. So I wasn't turning on any of the lights and I like had my face turned in such a way that I just didn't, yeah, I just didn't really see where the door was. And so I, I literally just smacked my face like right on the, the edge of the door where it was open because I was just, I was tired, it was dark, it was nighttime and I just needed to pee. 
<laughs> the other time, we had this um, old Lincoln uh, sedan that had very big, heavy doors. And the Viking was dropping me off in front of the uh, grocery store because it was raining, I think. So he just pulled up to the front so I didn't have to walk in the rain. And I go and I get out. And as I get out and try to close the door, I didn't move my face far enough away from like the corner, the top corner that had an angle like this um, as it swung to close. And I hit myself really hard, I think like right here to the point where I was like, ah! <laughs> And I go in and there's a, it's one of those, oh, neither of you are from America. Okay, in, in Target in America, in Super Targets, they have a Starbucks usually on the inside, um, in a lot of them. So I walked in and I walked over to the Starbucks and I was like, hey man, I literally just slammed my face on my car door. Do you have some ice that I can put on this? Because it really hurts and it's starting to swell already. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband like comes walking in a minute later and he's like hi i swear i didn't hit her she just was stupid <laughs> and hit her own face with the car door yeah we have starbucks in a lot of places um <laughs> And we're walking around in this Target, and I have this ice on my face, and the Viking's just like, dude, everybody is looking at me. Cause he already looks kind of scary. I'm, I'm a smaller woman. I'm like 5'4". He's six feet tall. He's quite big, like he's just broad, um, cause he's Norwegian. Uh, and so like, and he looks mean. <laughs> And he looks mean, uh, he just re has resting angry face. So he's got the, very much like the face of somebody that you don't fuck with. <laughs> but he would literally never, ever, ever hit any woman ever. So like, especially me. <laughs> so he's like, God damn it. Everybody thinks I hit you in the face. <laughs> Because I'm just walking around with this big patch package of ice on my face and this rapidly swelling bruise. It was a good time. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's watch the rest of these videos about bruises. <laughs> 627. <sighs> Woody, 52, 58. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policeman. She is on the wrong Found side. Body. That's a different person. I... Did you see what she did? She touched the wrong side of her face. Look. Bruise. Oh, yep. yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chest. It was and on her left. She reached up to her right. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. She's pretending to be, she's pretending to be Hannah. That's why she's wearing a long sleeve shirt. Fuck, okay. This is Eve, bruise on wrong side. Pretending to be Hannah, Hannah. Uh, and then she found the body. That's what I'm trying to figure out.
Is she pretending to be Hannah in more than one interview? But I've already watched the video where she admits to it. That's the confusing thing. Okay, 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 okay. We know. We know there are problems here because. We know there are problems here because we know that Hannah had a miscarriage and Eve is pregnant. And she is pretending to be Han Hannah in this interview, the same interview where she vomited and said, sorry, morning sickness, I'm pregnant. So the policeman obviously should have figured that out. Where did she say she had a miscarriage? That's the important part. Let me see. Um, when did she say she had a miscarriage? The 25th. June 25th is when Hannah said she had a miscarriage at eight months and she was living at Simon's parents' house. This is July or I'm sorry, June 27th, two days later, she says she's pregnant. I think Eve is pretending to be Hannah more than we think she is, more than I originally thought she was. Ooh, this is interesting, okay. Let me watch this last one and see what we got. Room B. That's on June 3rd. Fifty-four seconds long. If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our harness to match. Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face, gave her a huge black eye. That night, she had to do the same to me. And she almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. She snuck a frozen piece up for me from the kitchen. Mm. So much of our bodies were synchronized anyway. We started our period on the same day, when our childhood diseases, stomach bugs, nits. Hmm. They didn't do that for this bruise. This is interesting. Okay. Let me see what else I have on the page. Bruise. I have any for fighting? STD? Ooh, there is one more for STD. Don't take that out of context. One minute, seven seconds long. Jesus, that's a long one. Uh, in B, seven, three. Oh, 
I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I was depressed. I was still pretty sick of the STD. When I came down one morning, they were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up a lot. And I'd slept through it. The police said it was mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. I mean, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognise them. And there's no way you would have picked dead cows. But the police believed that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. So, she was depressed. Everybody was sick. Yeah, kind of. Um... So what does she think happened? Does she think Hannah killed... Is she... A, does she think that Hannah killed her parents? B, did she kill her parents and is just pretending that she was sick? Who poisoned the parents? Excuse me, okay, so that's done. Windows. Have I searched for windows? No. I have not. Let's see, windows. Ah, uh, do you know the mushroom man, the mushroom man, the mushroom man? Yes, I know the mushroom man. Summer. Okay. Already searched for parents. Dad? Okay. Dom Domino. And I've already searched for cat flap. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end it because I made it through this whole page of keywords to search through and I filled out almost two more pages worth of videos um, and I need to start like I sort of want to relax a little bit before I have to start getting ready for my Halloween party tonight um, but this was good fun thank you very much Tax Owlbear Somni for joining this was a good a good good fun time and uh, I'll see you guys I'll see you guys some other time when I when I play more games <laughs>